Welcome back, everybody. Welcome if you are new. Today, we're in the Pro Late Models here at Port Royal. I never really ran this track before, but with the new update and stuff, might as well give it a shot. We are car number four here out of, it looks like, 20-ish. I think only 16 are making it into the feature, but we got Tyler Hudson out here, which is pretty damn cool. He's uh, one of the guys that works on uh, the dirt side and iRacing and everything, and he races in real life, which is pretty damn cool. But I haven't raced hit against him in a long time. Uh, I feel like I haven't seen him in any officials in quite some time, so pretty cool to see him out here. Hopefully we could try to keep up with him. That'd be awesome. These cars are very hey, slick on entry, so you got to try to keep yeah, the I throttle got, somewhat here. down, but you don't want to let off too much and get sideways. You can turn in. I try to let off a little bit, keep the car straight. Bottom seems quicker right now, at least to me. Going to slide up here in three and four. Not the best three and four, but still might be a one, which I'll be happy with. That was a three. Wow. Track slowed down a lot or something. Or I really messed up three and four there. Because that was about like the same time I... Or same feeling I ran in like practice and it was one, so... Unless some of the marbles went away or something, I'm not sure. But we got a three flat. So right, far, that's right. pull. So the track has slowed down quite a bit. The six car who was quickest in practice got fourth currently. So we got a 343 on the second lap as well, which would still put his pull. So hell of a lap. I'm very happy about that. We got a nice little purple scheme going on this season. I got the same uh, look on the car for the super, but it's like light blue. I like it a lot. It looks really good, but... So far, we still have the pole. The six car ran a 315 second lap, so we might be on pole for uh, heat number one here. All right, we're coming up to the green here. We still held on to the pole. We got Tyler Hudson next to us. Hopefully, we could try to beat him in this heat race. That'd be nuts, but uh, we'll see how we do. Never really run Port Royal before the update. I haven't really ran it after since then yet, so this is like our first experience on this track. And before, this place was just so top dominant. Uh, it was just really boring, so I never really ran it. And we are going to go now. He actually kind of jumped that pretty decent. I'm going to slide up in front of him here. I'm going to try to keep the car a little middle-ish, not run right on the bottom. There's a lot of bumps down there. But he ran the bottom really well. We were very sideways that? there. I could not get the car rotated in without getting it super sideways there, so that was just a bad corner. We got car one and car two in front of us now, Bubba Rawling, which I recognize the name. I don't think I've really raced him too much, though, to be fair. Definitely recognize the name, though. He's got it. He's still got it on the outside. Seems like you can make multi lanes here right now, which is fun, because before this track was just wall ride all day and it was quite boring. But what Bubba did to be there was just hold right on the edge of us. And that's what I was hoping to do to Hudson. But he had a really good drive off turn two. I was hoping to try to keep that momentum from the middle lane. And I just did not very well. Especially going into three when I could not get it turned. So that's all on me. But hey, we got the pole in qualifying. It won't count for a pole because we're not going to win the heat. So it technically doesn't count as a pole for us. But that's all right. I know that we qualified first which is pretty awesome oh damn Bubba caught all the way up to Hudson there in one and two run it they both ran that outside but Bubba had a ton of speed I don't know if he was tapping the right rear on the wall or what I guess we got to try to run it up here so we don't lose any more time I don't really know how to run the wall here very well damn Bubba was on that thing out there Hudson going for the slider, I think. Not quite. He stays low. I think we got a guy right on us, though. We got Tyler. I don't know how to say his last name. Matson. Got him on our outside. I don't know how Bubba gets that outside rolling like that. That's crazy. Oh, they almost hook up there. Yeah, it looks like Bubba might be going in just right rearing the wall and getting a ton of speed out of that. Which that's unfortunate to see. Thought they kind of got rid of the wall riding. I got into the wall there. I messed all up big time. Try to run the middle here. Keep the speed on the exit. All right, we'll finish fourth. So we'll start seven. Bubba ended up winning that. Wow, that's crazy. 
He worked his way from, I think, third all the way up to first there, riding that wall up there. That was crazy. I want to see, like, what he was doing in one and two, though. I cannot run the top in one and two to save my life. Because uh, it's, like, so bumpy up there and very thin, it seemed like. But he was just right up here on it. Right rear would clip it. No, he was bouncing straight off the wall. So his car would come around. He'd bounce straight off it and get a massive run down the back stretch there. Same thing in three and four. Still hitting the wall and just not a full corner wall ride, but he's still wall riding in a way. So that's unfortunate. Thought that they kind of fixed that a good bit, but you can see how much speed he gets up there just hitting it. So I guess that's going to be the thing in uh, this track still, which is unfortunate. It seems like you can get the bottom to work pretty well, though, but... Let's get on to heat number two here. We got Matthew Lindy out here. He's starting towards the back. Hopefully he does pretty well. I didn't even know he was in the race until he messaged us. Good luck right before the heat. So good luck to him as well. But this track is very tough. Very, very bumpy with the uh, update and everything. But who do we all got in this? Got the six car who is really fast in practice. Jet, Chase, Jeffrey, Austin S Hill. I don't think that's the same Austin Hill that runs in Xfinity and stuff. I don't think so. Evan Seymour, Derek Davidson, James. Uh, I have always messed up that last name, but I, I recognize his name. I've definitely raced him before. Matthew Lindy and Braden is starting out back. So we'll keep an eye on everybody in this. I think top six are making it. Top six make it. Good luck to Lindy out there. He's the lowest card number out of this field, too. So great. Uh, chance for him to gain some eye rating if he can make the feature i don't know if he's trying to warm up his tires or not it might be a thing in uh, these heat races and everything doesn't seem like you necessarily need it we'll be on board here with the uh first place car and the 18 on the inside i think that's james yeah he was the fastest in practice we'll see how this goes they still have one more time around so such long pace laps you got two really really long pace laps here which i feel like I understand why they do too. It's because of the where the pit lane entry is. It's right in the middle of the back stretch. So they give everybody time to get going. Why is there like three people on the outside? I'm so confused. There's five on the bottom, three on the outside. I guess there's two guys that are gone from the session that were supposed to be starting outside. I don't know. But first place is off. The eight car, the cat car, gets into second quite quickly. Good start by him. Number one car trying to work that inside, get up to third. We'll see if that's possible. He does clear him on the back stretch. Good job. Five cars trying to work his way back inside. They keep it clean, though. Everybody's riding right along the bottom. Five car is getting a guy to his outside for fourth place now. He slides up a little bit. Keeps it clean, though. Doesn't hit the one car. I thought he was going to clip him. It was very close. The top six make it. I want to say, yeah, this 07 back here, Evan, number three on the uh, scoreboard, is in sixth, fighting for fifth right here. So how many people are missing? I don't know if there was any missing from my heat or not. Oh, damn, that one and two is super fast down there on the bottom for Evan. He got from sixth up to... Oh, they're Sorry, wrecking. Man. Oh, and Lindy gets by both of them. That might be sixth place spin for around, him, spin honestly. Around. Come on, spin around. I'll let you go by me. Come on, hurry up. T hey, he's letting them by. But that's... Yeah, damn, dude. Go, go, go. Yeah, Don't it, it doesn't me. really matter. They're both going to be in the constellation anyways. Lindy's going to end up getting in the feature because of that, though. So, that was that's nice for him. He got yeah, really lucky with that. Dude. Some tight, tight racing yeah, there, for sure. Oh. The 18 car is falling back. He started on pole. He's doing the same thing I did, falling way back. He's back there in fifth now, all of a sudden. This is going to be a very interesting track, though, in the feature. I don't know if the top or bottom is going to be the fastest. Maybe right through the middle. Who knows how much uh, the right rear is going to get worn out in the race. How bad was my right rear from those few laps? 97, so it wasn't awful. Tire wear shouldn't be that big of an issue, it seems like, then. How many laps do we have? 30? Okay. 30 laps here after about eight we had three percent on the right rear worn out so it's not too bad lindy's still back there in 60 he is he's a little bit off pace but this track's very tough so i don't blame him it's a very very hard track to be fast at i got lucky in qualifying i think uh, i don't think a three should have gotten pole i, I thought with the ones or zeros for sure were going to be pole oh he tried to keep the outside three wide off turn four that is the final lap, isn't it? Oh, no. They're starting the final lap now. So, white flag here 
Big battle for third. They're three wide off of turn two once again. Number one car going to try to slide up. No, he holds the bottom. The 07 got out in front of them and pretty much single file to the end of the it ain't for me, end of that. But yeah, that was a really tight race in there. But how many people are missing? They got two people missing. So it's going to be six people fighting for four spots here in the consolation. Uh, congrats to Lindy on making it car 20 out of this. So he has a good chance to gain some I rating, which is nice. But we're car four. We're going to be starting like seventh. Yeah, seventh in the feature. So I'm going to skip forward because it's going to be six people going for four spots. Probably not going to be too much action going on, honestly. So I'll skip forward and bring you guys back for the feature race. All right, coming around to the green here for the feature. We'll see how this goes. We got some spots to try to make up from our heat race. Hopefully we can try to get up to like a top five. That'd be nice. But probably going to be some tight racing up front, I would imagine. We'll see how much people are bouncing off the wall still and everything. I'm going to try to run like middle-ish, maybe up high. It depends. Oh, the car's so weird when you let all the way off the gas. It wants to like really bounce all over the place. And leader's about to go. Any second now. There he goes. We had a pretty good start there. Guy on my outside wants to make it three wide for some reason. We are like four wide now. We're literally four wide. Backed out of that a little bit. That was tight. I'm shocked we didn't all hook down the backstretch, honestly. But with the new damage model, uh, it's not as bad anymore with all that, which is nice. You can actually bump the back of somebody. It's not going to lose them, like, all traction in the world. But I'm going to try to stay, like, high to middle, something like that, because it seems like the fastest way around. But it seems like people are running all over the place, which is very different for this track than before, which that's nice to see at least. Right rear got in the wall. Oh, they're about wrecking. We got a 2x for that, really? How did we get a 2x? It didn't even damage either of our cars. Maybe a little bit of ghost 2x. I don't know. Oh, the right rear got the wall. It's so bumpy at this track, though, now. It's crazy. The bumps make it very tough to drive straight and keep it very smooth. But that's part of it, I guess. Oh, oh, they're saving it. <laughs> I don't know how they're saving it, but they are. Just got, just got to think. It's 30 laps. Not going to win it in the very beginning. People are going to wear out the right rear probably with the way this track state is and everything. 10 car got to the inside of him. Oh God, we got clipped in the right rear. That didn't go well. Got in a little sideways and just got clipped in the right rear and started coming around. But don't know how much damage we have on the left side. It might be, might be a decent amount, honestly, which could affect us, which would suck. But uh, we're gonna have a restart. We got a bunch of our spots back, which is nice, but uh, quite unfortunate for us to say the least. I messed up going into that corner big time. All right, coming around to the green, we're on the outside. Looks like we're still in 10th. Yep. So this will be interesting to see how uh, we do on the outside. We line up on the outside. Hopefully we could run pretty well up here. Still have 25 laps to go. These, these laps are so long with how long these straightaways are. This race feels like it's taking so much longer. I feel like we should be on like lap 10 already, but we're not even close to it. But hopefully we don't have too much damage, so it doesn't really affect us that bad. I hope not. At least on the left side, we might have gotten pretty bent in, but at least none of our wheels are very messed up. We were not on top of that restart, I'll tell you that. He's sliding up in front of us. Didn't want to clip him into the wall. They're three wide. Hopefully they all realize it. Looks like they did. Oh, I got clipped in the right rear again. If you get clipped in the right rear now, it seems like it wants to spin you around very quickly. So you got to be careful with that. Getting into people. The right rear is not very likable. Guy in front of me his right rear is pretty bent in. He might have gotten the wall pretty hard, it seems. Oh, 10 cars getting into him. He's hooking him back our way. 
They let off and we get by it. Oh, thank God. That was terrifying. He like had so much speed on the exit there. He ran straight in the back of them and then started turning them. Luckily, they saved it. I, I thought for sure we were going to end up in a wreck there. But I think we're up to eighth now because of that. That's nice. Looks like Hudson's trying to work the middle of the track. Bubba up there is still running very top. So very interesting strategies to say the least to see the difference in them two running one, two. We have a decent gap behind us to ninth now. That's really nice. See if we can try to settle in here. Try not to use too much right rear. Try not to get too sideways. And we get a caution. So that was a little bit further back on the track, it seems. I was trying to back out of you. But uh, it's been some really, really tight racing so far. It looks like Evan might have gotten hooked and uh, wrecked there. So not sure what happened. We'll go back and see all the incidents at the end of the race. All right. Back on the outside again. Eighth place. We'll see how this start goes. I need to be a little bit closer to the guy in front of me and actually get going faster. I was sleeping a little bit on that last one. It wasn't a bad restart. We were just off the guy in front of us a good bit. So definitely could be... A little up closer we'll see how this goes hopefully we can get some green flag racing in here but these restarts are gnarly everybody gets like three four wide around us it's very terrifying but hopefully we can hold the outer lane middle outer lane a little slow to the gas pedal there try to get into turn one and not slide up too hard could very easy hit that wall they are wrecking oh there's nowhere for us to go damn we're just getting ran through guys the I caution's already out like nothing i could do at that point caution's already out and we're just getting lifted from behind because uh i tried checking up for that but you can see how much damage we got on the front of our car definitely gonna go try to get some of that fixed now so that's quite unfortunate all right uh wasn't able to get any damage fixed because every time we were trying to come around it said pit lane closed like it opened when we were on the front stretch closed when we got in turn one and two so that seems a little broken right now this track and we just got a warning 20 minutes ago so we honestly might time limit out of this race i would not be shocked with how many cautions there's been but we're probably gonna be at an arrow disadvantage now with our front end at least our front end's pretty bad there's literally just nowhere for us to go unfortunately in that wreck with the five getting spun out right on the exit there but i don't know why people don't just calm down once they've gotten past the wreck the caution's already out you don't have to lay on the gas because i know we just got spun out way after the caution was out and stuff so that was just dumb but we gotta try to make up some spots know we're quicker than some of these guys back here just gotta not run into them just got to figure a way out around. He is holding us down pretty hard. Oh, too much throttle there. I was just got completely sideways. They were hitting up there a little bit. 10 car got hooked right on the entry there. Outside. Clear. 19.977. Trying to keep the car straight on exit. It's very difficult to do so. I want to throw a slider on this 19, but he's running us like he's so low. He's running the middle, so I can't really do anything about it. And the five car behind us is just stuck. There's literally nothing he could do. I'm throwing a slider here because one and two, he kept going in a little higher. Now we're going to run the middle top area like we were beforehand. We got Lindy in front of us on the outside there. He's the white and green car. He's up in the wall in one and two. I'm all sorts of loose up there in the bumps. But that seems to be the fast way around right now is that top lane. But now we're getting some green flag racing when we don't need it. <laughs> really did not want the green flag i wanted to try to pit and get some of this damage fixed because you can see how slow we are down these straightaways the right rear is probably pretty or all the wheels are probably pretty worn out after spinning out and stuff so also so well twice 19.2 and we just doing 19.7s yeah we're definitely off pace to say the least 
And that 10 car is gone. He all F forward. So that'll be another spot at least. We'll be up to 12th. That's nice. See if we could try to manage and maybe get a top 10 out of this day still. After everything that's happened to us. Lindy bouncing off the wall there, getting some speed on the back stretch. The top just seems the fastest still. Once it gets a little bit worn in, seems like it's pretty fast up there if you could run it. Seems like the five car is pretty damaged behind us as well because we ran straight into his ass, so. He's not going very quick anymore either, which sucks for both of us. Just very bad situation. I think he got clipped in that right rear and then the guy just kept driving and didn't lift. It's kind of what happened to me afterwards, after I ran into him. Jeez, we're just hitting that chip really hard. We got a six X this race, probably gonna lose some safety, but that's all right. We have like over a four, I think 4.3 safety, I wanna say. So we're doing pretty good on our safety rating. So I'm not worried about that, but we're gonna lose a decent bit of I rating, I'll tell you that. Even finishing top 10, if we can manage that somehow. We're car four. Definitely gonna lose a decent bit, to say the least. Seems like the middle to bottom in three and four might be a little faster for us, but top in one and two is by far the fastest. If you could hit it right, not net, you will actually literally hitting it right. You wanna get your right rear and your side to come around and bounce off of it, it seems, which is unfortunate, I hate to see that. Like I understand just a right rear tap, but not where your whole car comes around and slams it and then you bounce off and keep going fine. They hit a 19.70. We hit a 19.84. That's not bad there. They might be throwing sliders on each other or something or... Actually, yeah, they are. They're, Tyler and uh, Bubba look like they're fighting up there for a position for the lead. So they're definitely running a little slower at this point. Oh yeah, they're right on top of each other. We'll see if we can try to catch up to Lindy here. Seems like we are a little bit, little by little. Not very fast at it by any means, but little by little seems like we are. Just gotta try to keep it straight on the exits and that will help us out a lot. But this setup was not made to run the top both corners, I can tell you that. Cause it really maxes out at the end of the straightaway on RPMs. But honestly, that could just be spinning the tires as well. So I'm not 100% sure. Maybe it's just not meant to be full throttled down the straightaway. That could be the case as well. 20 six, six. Trying to keep it off the wall. Because for a couple laps, we were keeping it up there pretty clean. Oh, got that inside wall a little Good bit, job, but we're all right. Four, Barely oh. tapped it. Just trying to get the car down there. The car in front of Lindy has gone. Actually, he's pulling away quite quickly as well now. See, that's about the cleanest I could run it, but it's not super fast. Try to run a slight slider here in three and four. Oh, we got white flag. Okay, those last 20 laps went by very quick once we went green. It would have been real nice if we would have went green when we were up in like eighth the entire time instead of getting that massive wreck and all this damage and then getting the green flag run. That's unfortunate. Those kind of races happen though. Nothing we can do about it. Heck of a race that way. Bubba ends up winning it. It looks like, wow, by less than a tenth. Good they were side by side. But got to go back, see everything that happened there. There's probably going to be a lot of wall hits, I would imagine. But we'll see everything that happened. We finished 12th. Unfortunate day for us by far. Not great. But uh, enjoy the win because the wall ride is definitely getting protested. Oh, yikes. When Tyler's saying that, that's pretty bad. But yeah, look how damaged our front end was. We had a whole hole through the uh, nose, so that's pretty awful. Hate to see that. We had so much damage there. But let's go back to the beginning, see everything that happened throughout the race, because we ended up in a couple things. I know that. But yeah, the wall riding's not, not fun to see. Seven car super sideways in the turn one. And this is where we were like four wide on the back stretch, which was nuts. I would definitely was a little low. I thought the one car was pinching us a little tighter, but he was not. One car clipped the 25 there. 07 getting the wall a little bit. 10 car gets the wall, but you can see the wall riding speed. You could hear it and just see it. Hate to see it. 
hopefully they can really fix that because uh, I thought they yeah look at that first place up there was literally on the wall the entire way around in that three and four Lindy gonna get the wall a little bit oh he was really far away from that. that's some net coat on the wall for sure these guys are three wide it was hard to keep it straight on the uh, off of turn four it really was I'm shocked it hasn't shown Bubba more because you you just see the wall ride and that's so much speed it's ridiculous that's like the old update still which is really unfortunate to see i think this is where i messed up got in a little too sideways definitely that was on me i know that because i got in a little too high slid up a little bit i thought he was going to run a little higher though i tried keeping it down by getting sideways and just clipping the right rear a lot of damage on that left side I actually just got crinkled in it wasn't awful awful i thought it was honestly going to be worse so i'm happy it wasn't worse than that but yeah, he is just on that wall all the way around. Then on this restart, Jackson going to get it as well. Yeah. And he was flying to our outside too at that point. These guys. Oh yeah, this is where the 10 got into the back of the 07. He had so much speed from that wall and then just about wrecked each other. Looks like his whole front end came off. He got a lot of damage on that front end, but still keeps going. I thought for sure they were wrecking because I'm that car going on the outside. I saw him hook back right, but somehow they didn't wreck. I don't know how. That was absolutely nuts that they did not wreck that thing. Absolutely crazy. I wish it would have gone green from there on out because we were running eighth really solidly. Like we were running pretty far ahead of ninth. And then I think where, I don't know where the caution was. It, I think it was this lap. Bubba's still up on the wall up front. And then this was the caution probably. Oh, the caution was actually up here. The 07 into the back right of the 16, and that just spins them out immediately. Nothing uh, the 15 really could do at that point. But we were running just fine. And then the five car gets spun out exactly the same way. He just gets ran over from the one. If you get just your car stuck in that right rear, it's just going to spin them straight around. And then... I hit him and then the 10 car just doesn't let off at all. Like I could have kept going fine. Still would have had this damage. So we would have been slow, but we would have been up here in this spot. Instead, the 10 car just gasses it, spins us all the way out. And then I couldn't get any damage fixed. And then it went green to the end, unfortunately for us. That was quite unfortunate. But I kind of want to see the battle they had towards the end of the race, Tyler and Bubba at least. Cause I want to see if he was, he really was wall riding that entire damn race. That's crazy. 10 car got hooked to the right there. We weren't that far behind that at that point because I remember seeing it. Lindy up in the wall. We were a little bit behind that. He was getting some net coat into the wall though. But everybody just smashing the wall pretty much. Not like on purpose, but some people on purpose and some people not. Like Lindy's running it pretty similar to me where he's hitting the right rear and trying to keep it off the wall. But uh, sometimes you couldn't help it. Like right there hits the wall and then bounces off of it. Gets some speed from it, but just trying to hit the right rear on it basically. But if you hit your whole car on it and then continue driving as hard as you can, like the first place was, like that was pretty bad. That's why this track just wasn't fun in the first place to me. But you could see, where are they? It like skipped because freaking uh, the guy blinked. But these guys are battling hard up front for the last few laps here. Hudson throwing sliders or attempting to here. I know he threw a couple because they were really they had a couple slow laps. He gets to the top. Bubba gets the run on the bot uh, on the cut down, throwing another slider back at him. Then trying to hold the middle. He still gets a massive cut down that massive speed on the front stretch there. Slides back up in front of him. He stays off the wall there. I'm just waiting to see him like just gap it on the wall. I know they finished by less than a, a tenth. He got in the wall there a little bit, but that wasn't like a wall ride. But they were right. They were riding so hard for each other. Tyler should have probably won it because he, he drove the correct way, I should say. He didn't slide all the way up there. Bubba keeps the outside lane. And then final corner here. Hudson going to really throw it in. Are they going to hit? No, he just keeps good speed there. Bubba ran a little low, and they finished side by side at the line, so that's absolutely crazy, but good race for the most part. Uh, disappointing to still see this track is very top dominant like that, like the wall ridiness, but uh, we finished 12th. Could have probably finished around like 8th, 7th-ish, something like that, I think, if we wouldn't have ended up in that massive wreck, but it is what it is. You get in those uh, situations sometimes, so that's unfortunate, but let's go see what we end up getting out of the results.
All right, results are in. We lost 63 I rating out of that, which hurts a lot. Lost a little bit of safety, not too bad. Yet a 6x still, but almost 3,200 strength of field. Hudson over 6K. So is Bubba. He, he would, they were already over 6K. We were car four. What was car three? He left early. He was like 67 and a half. So he lost a ton, 124 down there. That That's rough, but we lost 63, still finishing 17th. Lindy actually gained a little bit being car 20. I, I knew he had a decent shot at gaining some I rating being car 20. So good race by him surviving that thing and everything but the five car lost a lot with us because we just all ended up in that one wreck i don't know what happened to the seven i don't know if he ended up in that wreck with us or a different one i'm not 100 percent sure but uh either way unfortunate for us and uh sad to see there's still a lot of wall riding at that track at least so unfortunate altogether. and uh hopefully they can get that fixed at least at port royal because that was a fun race other than the wall riding fact of it but there wasn't a whole lot of it at least it was just the guy mainly out front so it is what it is seems like you can get a couple different lanes working though and it, it is better than it was before but it's different but still the same so it is what it is so appreciate you guys for watching as always hopefully you guys enjoyed the race nonetheless and i'll catch you guys in the next one